Now please give it, keep it going for the very funny. I'm on ground, everybody. I'm on ground. Thanks, guys. I love me too. It's a good sized crowd tonight. I'm used to good sized crowds. I'm from a family of eight kids. Yeah, which, uh, you know, my, my parents had eight kids. They tried the rhythm method of birth control, which just shows you white people shouldn't do anything that requires rhythm. <laughs> you know, and my dad tells me to practice abstinence, and I'm like, Dad, you could probably use more practice yourself. I don't know. He's like, no, son, I just don't want you repeating all eight of my mistakes. No, oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah, my, uh, my, my dad's a funny guy. When I was a kid, we were actually uh, on, you know, on a road trip, and we saw two bears doing what looked like a piggyback. And we're like, hey, Dad, what are they doing? He's like, oh, that's a uh, full bear pumping up a flat one. Oh. I don't know, I believed him until I was 15. I got arrested for helping a guy with a flat tire. Pretty sad, really. But, uh, it's fun growing up in a big family, you know, my brother and I used to play a lot of pranks on each other, you know, he, uh, he replaced my toothpaste with crazy glue, and I was like, <laughs> so I, I got him back, I, I replaced his insulin with heroin. <laughs> when he woke up from the coma <laughs> six months later, I called him from juvie, and I was like, beat that dude. <laughs> But uh, he, he tried getting me back, you know, he, he took my cell phone and replaced the ringtone with the sound of a really loud fart. And he calls me while I'm in a crowded cafe and I was like, whoa, that sounded close. Was that me? I think it was. My pants vibrated. Oy. But yeah, it's, it, it's fun in a big family, you know. Uh, so eight kids, as you might have guessed, my family is Mormon. You know, Mormon, Mormons are clean living people. They don't drink or smoke or fornicate. Those are kind of my hobbies, so you know, it doesn't work out so well. But my name is Ammon, which is actually a, a very Mormon name, so people recognize it right off the bat. They're like, Ammon, you're Mormon, aren't you? Me too. And I'll be like, yeah, let's just finish the lap dance in silence. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, we actually have a Mormon running for president now. <laughs> There's like one woo. <laughs> I, I don't know why Mitt Romney keeps changing positions, you know, he should stick to what he knows. Missionary. Uh. Dude, did it for two years, come on. <laughs> no, uh, so I, I, I live in New York. Um, I, uh, I, the one thing I really like about New York is the street performers. I don't know if you guys see these guys, they're, they're hilarious. Like, I saw this one guy the other day, he's yelling all this really funny stuff, and then he gets in a fight with a garbage can, and then he crapped his pants. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wait a second, that's not a street performer, that's a crazy homeless guy. <laughs> you know, it was especially embarrassing for me, I've been following him around laughing and clapping for like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you... He put 10 bucks in his G-string too, I was a little upset with myself. But uh, you know, it's tough being a white guy in New York sometimes, because cabs just randomly stop for me all the time. I'm like, oh, hey, white man, need a taxi? I'm like, I'm in my car at a traffic light. I think I got this, dude. Yeah, so I, I have a car in the city. I, I wanted one of those really big SUVs, but you know, I gotta worry about the environment and everything, so I, I drive a Hummus. It's like a Hummer, but it's green. It gets really good gas mileage, you know, but the, the price of gas is still just killing me lately. But mostly because I'm an arsonist. Seriously, I, I tried switching to alternative fuels, but you just look stupid trying to switch to solar on top of an abandoned warehouse with a magnifying glass, waiting for the clouds to clear, like, come oh, on, uh, get you busted. Uh, good times, good times. So, yeah, the, I, uh, I, I have issues being Mormon, trying to pick up girls, because, you know, they think all I know is missionary. But uh, I, I have a new system. I just kind of stand in the back of the bar, show off the bulge in my pants. Like, that's right, ladies, you like that? That's right. iPhone. Yeah, you like that iPhone, don't you? Because you know that means I spend money frivolously. And I'm on AT&T, so I can't call you back anyway. So give me your number. And it never works. No, I, I, I actually, uh, 
I'm married now, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. I love my wife, she's very much the optimist. Our first night together, she handed me one of those extra large magnum condoms. And I was like, all right, so I, I made her a balloon animal. I didn't know what, it can't possibly be. But funny story how we met, actually. Um, I had heard that turkey makes you tired. So I slipped a few slices into her drink at a bar. It kind of worked, you know, the, the Heimlich is basically a hug, right? I don't know. But, uh, no, I'm actually not that big of a Mitt Romney fan. I'm much more of an Obama fan. Yeah. <sighs> when that guy finishes up a speech, I just breathe the biggest sigh of relief, because, you know, I can be heterosexual again. <laughs> Seriously, he's like one of the few people in the world that can turn me gay. And Michelle Bachman's the other one. But her husband turned me back, so it's cool. But, uh, no, a, a guy actually approached me on the street the other day. He's like, excuse me, sir, are you a registered Democrat? I said, no, I'm a registered sex offender. He's like, oh, sorry, we don't need Republicans for this poll. <laughs> That's a blue state joke all the way. <laughs> uh, but he actually invited me to a, a fundraising benefit, and uh, it was a black tie affair. So I brought Tiger Woods. Some of you got that. For the rest of you, that's a Cialis joke. You'll get it sometime in the next 36 hours or so. All right, everybody, that's my time. My name's Emma Brown. Thank you very much. Keep it going for it, everybody.